What's up chickies, it is Baron here. Today we're doing a video on the Starfarer. Before we get into it, don't forget to share this video, watch it all the way to through to the end, suggest it to friends. It's the best way to get these videos seen and the channel to grow. So we're going to go into the Starfarer and the UI that we've just seen in 3.17. It is quite responsive. The ship has just... No one really liked this ship in the past, and I still don't think people really like it that much, but they probably like it as much as what they used to like it, because it, obviously it serves a function now. It's probably one of the oldest concepts in the game. We did do a deep dive on it, so if you want to see that, that should be in the um, cards. But what I want to talk about is how the functionality of this ship is going to affect the game. And we've spoken about this many, many times. And I think that no one really appreciates this vessel for what it is and actually thought about it, the ship for what it does. Obviously, it has got quite a weird stance to it. Obviously, having those legs stick out the back for the landing gear. But again, this is going to be one of the most functional ships in the game until we get a capital uh refueler i think this is the best opportunity that we got for refueling at the moment obviously it's going to be needed when we go to pyro and other systems obviously when people get stranded uh, within the stanton system as well which does happen quite often because the Ares itself uses a lot of fuel which is kind of ridiculous but i think the fuel consumption of ships has gone up which may actually include a very important game role with this ship so putting out like beacons for needing to be rescued or needing fuel there could be missions i haven't used it like properly properly yet but it does seem to have really good functionality it just it does seem to be a little streamlined which is really great obviously it is a little bit of a, a quirk here and there where you actually go to attach to the nozzle but you're like you're not physically attached but obviously you're attached to it so it works with all ships it does have its functionality and its purpose there but again like i've said the starfarer isn't a popular ship no one really likes the look of it it is getting a rework from what we know on the interior where the interior space will be getting used up more and it'll actually have serve a little bit more purpose what really annoys me is when you go around the the catwalk up the top and you go to get in to where the the cockpit is but there's like that that ladder there i don't know if anyone's seen that the ladder it, you, you seem to get interfered by it it's so weird so you know i think this 3.17 patch and the refueling system that they've brought in is a really great uh, deal for everyone and 3.17 has seemed to be doing some really great things for star citizen in terms of content creators in terms of players and just in terms of community morale at the moment it's just been really great which is always a really good thing for star citizen and just any game in general so i think setting a precedence that the starfarer has served a massive massive role in the game now i think it is perceived as a very different vessel i myself have always sat back and looked at it with a little bit of skepticism i haven't really judged it too harshly obviously being one of the original vessels that they had concepted and put into the game so when you look at this ship just think that it's a money making machine it is literally a fuel station in space you can fill up each tank as you please with whatever you want obviously you can refuel your own ship from these tanks you can actually i'm pretty sure you can transfer from tanks to another tank which is even cooler so you have what is it eight tanks in total i believe it is and you can actually drop them so you can like um drop them and you can probably blow them up so you can like jettison them off that's really interesting i haven't done that yet i click the button it didn't seem to have any functionality at the time of you uh it it was grayed out i think it was grayed out but again i think this has given people a completely different perspective the, the ui if you haven't used it it's so clean it's so like crisp i don't know what it is it's just they've done something really right with this ship and i think that everyone should just take the time to use it get to know the ship get to know the functionality of what they've put into the game and just learn that you know this ship is it is a bit of a beast it is a bit of a chunky mum but you know, chunky mum a chunky girl but i think at the end of the day it's one of the only refueling vessels that we have it's literally the only refueling vessel that we have at the current time which is good and it's kind of bad but again it's this just that particular taste for this vessel a lot of views will have some for loaners from some of the vessels you have gotten. I think you have one with the Endeavour. I brought a Gemini and I do have the normal Starfarer obviously with a loaner as well, which is really good because it means that this ship's going to be used in the future. It's going to have a really good purpose for when we want to use um, 
the refueling module because I don't think the Endeavor is going to be coming out anytime soon. So enjoy the ship while you've got it. Learn the ship. Learn how it flies when it's refueled and when it's empty. I don't know if there's any difference. It does feel like there's a bit of a difference, but just take the time to enjoy the vessel. Enjoy the gameplay for what we've got now, and there will be some great stuff coming down in content-wise in the future for Star Citizen. And I don't think anyone's realizing this at the moment that this has just set one of the main foundations for Pyro for what we need to get there and to fly around there. Obviously being such a massive system, this is going to be something that's going to be so harshly needed over there. And I think that, you know, having that open space at the moment at the back isn't so bad. You can put vehicles in there, you can put cargo in there, you can put pretty much anything you want in there to take over to the system with you. So, you know, whether or not you're going to be taking people with you, you want to take vehicles over there, you want to take some more ex ground exploration because obviously you're going to have, like, a, if you have a carry, the carry can only sit, like hold a few vessels of oh, vehicles sorry then you'll have the herc which can hold some and then you can have this which is a refueler and it can serve a purpose of maybe even taking some cargo of um to do some trading runs i don't know but there's a lot of things that people can learn from this ship and what they can do with it so use it while we've got it and enjoy it while we've got it so that's all I wanted to say to you today. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know down in the comments what you thought. And leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you got this far. Peace out, chickies. I'll see you in the verse.